If you keep pushing a man, one day the man's gonna push you back. We're gonna get together, just your plans, and give you the sack. The people are starving for a revocation, emancipation. Here, can't you make any more noise with that poxy processed shit you're eating? You sound like an animal, P.O. Come on, man. Well, I'm sorry, kid. It's just this that makes me fucking wild, all this elephant and castle development shit. He says here, the deputy Lib Dem leader claimed the scheme's proposal levels on social housing in phase one, which he quoted as just eight social rented homes out of 235 being built. The council's Labour administration zip back by accusing the MP of putting a political spin on it. I mean, it's all a game to them. I can't blame the developers, I reckon. What are you talking about? They want to talk to my little cousin who's lived here all his life. Been on a housing list for four years, been married a year, can't get a flat. I mean, am I crazy? Or is there something fundamentally wrong about it all? Coffee, lads. Oh, here's again, you same bolt. Where you been to get that kid, Brazil? Here, kid, let me ask you something. What's the first thing you'd do if you was in local power? Nick all the money and piss off soon as. There's our future, Pia. What was the name of the man in that video? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> Another liar. That's what I'm saying. All these politicians and suits lying to each other. Most of all, they're lying to us. That's it. Nick from egg. I tell you, son, the time is right for revolution. A local party run by local people. There's nothing we can do about it, though, man. We just work on building sites. Do you know what I'd do if I was in power? Go on. I'd make it compulsory for birds to get my name towed on their ass. Yeah? Yes. That'd be a right vote clincher, that one, wouldn't it, P.O.? That'd be sweet. Seriously, though, it can't be hard. I've got a good mind to start one up myself. Start what up yourself? A local party run by local trusted people. Can't fail. I know exactly what I call it. The People's Advocate Party. Sounds kind of gay. Well, so do you. Back to work. Come on. Come on. I tell you, P.O. Oh, it's a good idea. Still sounds gay. Cold. Just give me a minute, babe. This is doable, Joe. What is? This. Starting up a political party. Oh, Mick, not another one of your harebrained schemes. Yeah, but this is... Joe, I understand what you mean, but this is doable. We can do this. We can start our own political party. How on earth are you going to start a political party? I don't know. All I know is I feel that I need to do this. Who do you think you are, Eric Pickles? <laughs> Go and make me a cup of tea. Oh, come on, your dinner, it's getting cold. Two minutes. Terry. Best odds, Tottenham to beat Arsenal tonight at the Emirates, 2-1. Yeah, hold on. Mickey, give us a minute, I'm having a bet, I'm talking to Arthur, tell her mate. Go on, Arthur. Go on, 14 to 1, I'll have a pony. Yeah, nice one, tell her. Mickey, sorry mate. You've had a what? <laughs> An epiphany? A political party? You've been saying that for years. What are you going to call it? you got a name? A people's Advocate Party. <laughs> Sounds like a Christmas drink, Mick. Can't have that short in it. Yeah, P-A-P, Pap. Yeah. Yeah, I'll see you down at Stanley, Saturday afternoon. Oh, well All right, lovely. Keeper. Lots of love. Bye-bye. Go on. Put one in. Oh, yes! It's going to cost us five grand to contest in local elections. Five grand! I 
mean, I get you every which one. Come and he ain't turning up. Who? Oh. Terry. I never thought we were meeting him. What are you doing with them ping pong balls, Pierre? Do you remember Angong? What? Angong. What, the Thai bird? Yeah, Thai bird, yeah. She's been missing home, so I thought I'd buy these to cheer her up. Come on, Jimmy, fix it. We've got to be at Arches at 2 o'clock. Come on, Mickey, man. Do I have to come? That actually gives me the creeps. Look, don't worry about it. Worst way we get a pipe at his old woman's arse, OK? Yeah, go on. <laughs> spending un need unnecessary money on someone singing at the bar mitzvah when I could do it. Yes, I know. Hold on a second now. Hello? You, well, I'm not, I'm only shouting because you're shouting. Well, perhaps you could uh, give me a little brown envelope or something. Like the man's my sugar, I know that, I know that. Okay, shalom. So Arch, have you had a bit of time to mull over what I spoke about? Well, what with, what, what with, did we uh, speak about, Vicky? The five grand. <laughs> uh, you, 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 were, you were serious about the five thousand pounds? Oh, yeah. Listen, Mickey. Uh, I, don't, I don't get involved in any non-kosher politics. Because, uh, to me, in my opinion, it only leads to devastation and trouble. And the, the very best I'm going to get is my money back. And the worst, I'm going to end up crucified for £5,000. It, it's not going to happen, Mickey. All in it together, though, Arch. Exactly, P.O. Look, Archie, this is not a fly-by-night coup. Local people are being shit on. Someone's got to do something. We've got an opportunity here to make a difference. Different schmifferings. Yeah, my baby. Oh, that's beautiful. Thanks, Bubla. <coughs> Very nice. It's nice to see you boys here. Archie, babes, would you and the boys like a nice paré for uh, Shavazit? Perhaps just do me one Bible with some smoked salmon and some cream, cream cheese. Cream, cream cheese. cheese. Oh, some cream I cheese. Love mm. I love that upstairs ready for you. That was a good turnout. That's a shame about him, Bob. This will make you smile, though, boys. He phoned me the other day. Mickey Tobin wants to start a political party. <laughs> it's always been a bit that way, hasn't Mickey? <laughs> he reckons he's had an epiphany. <laughs> I have one of them once. Yeah, no, you laugh about it, Tell. We know this geezer, we know this geezer, right in that political monarchy. He reckons he's making a fortune. Let's try it. Mind you, the geezer is a complete raven iron. There's no discrimination where paying notes are concerned, right? Just ask the old man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really, though, Bob, where's he get his rallies from, the fella? Gold nuts. You read about it all the time on the news, didn't you? Politicians skimming hundred grand here, building new duck houses there. Listen, boys, and I'm going to be perfectly straight with you. See, see my forehead, it doesn't say schmuck across the top, does it? No. So, so let me tell you something. I would rather stick pork chops in my own eyes than give you this 5,000 pounds. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Hello, Ed. Uh, yes. Uh, the, the song was the one, I, uh, the, the one I always do, you know. Shalom Yabihim, Shalom Yabihim, Shalom, Shalom, La Hilaro, La Hilaro, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom Yabihim, Shalom Yabihim, Shalom. Oh, she's nuts, man. 
not even Jewish. Don't worry about Archie, we'll get the dough another way. The universe is with us, kid. Hold up. Ginger bullet. Terry. I'm in, son. I'm in. Sweet. Angelique. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Angelique. Right, so. Now, I'm not going to lie to you because I don't lie in general anyway, but, you know, this has been a really. It's been a real tough one, this. Um, yeah, I put, I've uh, put my neck on the line and I've spoken to a very good friend of mine over in um, Allocation. I'm so grateful, Mr. Cannon. No, listen, you... I believe, and, you know, we all do, that you... You and your newborn, you deserve a chance, and... You know... Um, anyway, so the good news is... Um, I've... I've managed to get you a lovely little flat. It's over in Surrey Keys. And, um, brand new build. All you need from me is um, my signature on this piece of paper. So, Mr. Cannon, I can't thank you enough. Oh, <sighs> I'm sure we can. Um, I'm sure we can figure something. <laughs> What you doing? It's Wimbledon, Fortnight. Wimbledon, Fortnight. We're starting up a political party. Get your nose out of that and get it in this. Here, I've had a fault. Remember when we was at school and we used to wipe the wag and we used to go and plot in the Montana Cafe down the blue? Still the best sausage sign is ever. 100%. Remember my old man and the doctors that used to stand on the corner canvassing for Bob Mellish, talking, chatting to the local people? That's how we got to get our manifesto from the voice of the local people. Sweet. Sweet. How are you, Bernie? You alright? You want a drink? No, I can't stop me. Money be up. Tell her, Bernie. Tell her, Shan. Tell her. Tell her. Here we go. We'll go after Bernie. What's that? That? Well, that is our future. I ain't wearing that. What's the matter with you? You saved us an absolute fortune. Ain't cost us a tanner. I got them off Mr. Ganesh. It's pink, purple, and brown, Tell. to be. Flares. Die too fast. Yeah, I know this. This look the absolute nuts, I'm telling you. Snoops! Hi, boys. There he is. Hi, right, son. Yeah. Back by the Southern Council of Painters. Do you want to turn? Yeah, go on, get some light out. Light out, please, Julie. You look busy, Snoops. Pedal to the metal, son. I'm cooped up with half Eastern Europe, finishing up the town hall. <laughs> Where's that little bacon bonds, P.O.? I'm talking to bacon bonds. Now, listen to this. Council geezer where I'm working, he's caught me for young birds. Yeah, in good. return for flats. Cheers. Thing is, though, all the birds are like big lots. Straight? Here, Snoops, let me ask you something. What's the first thing you'd do if you was in local power? 
Hey? We're starting up a local political party. PAP. Ah. If I was in local power? Yeah. First thing I'd do, sort the colours of the walls I'd paint in the town hall, mate. I'd paint in them colours. They are. Brothers and the sisters in the council, they would love that. They are. This is serious. Pony, isn't it? Pony. 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 Well, seriously? Yes. Open the door for a quick fit. Eh? Hmm? The French geezer's party. He means... You kip. There you go, that's the kiddies. <laughs> Why you kip, son? I don't know, I just fancy him. Little bit of national dinner on the one. Know what I mean? Yeah. Bit like being back on the terraces. Yeah. See, we need a united stand against the enemy. This is England. We shouldn't be bad to no one. Make you right. Yeah. Especially some soppy Euro German mugs. If I didn't have no form, that party there, that's the party I'd stand for. Damn dear. Damn dear, that'd be a strong move, Snopes. You're putting on a bit of weight, Snopes. Yeah, I'll tell you what. <laughs> yeah, tell, tell you what, it won't be bad having a black man on the farm. Very interesting to hear about that hooky housing council, isn't it? There were dancers in empty pockets. You'd be lucky, yeah? See you later, Snopes. One love, my brother. Stay away from them Eastern European. Here he is. Oh, watch. Where have you been? Oi! I said, where have you been? with her last night, man. Right? You think you could get her to call me a bit sharpish? Why? Never mind why. What you up to, slippery nuts? What? What? I can read you like a book tell. Really? Yeah. What am I thinking there, then? Murray, three to one. Bear, Miggy. <laughs> Tell. Yeah, sweet. Sweet? Sweet? I mean it, Tell. Ups, upless, Miggy. Ups, upless. on behalf of the People's Advocate Party. But, yeah, can we count on your vote? You're joking, enjoy having a trade. Sorry, Sorry. Right. Hurry up, Brian, love. I'm still balancing on the table. I'll be there in a bit, sweets. Sure, Rosie. Hey, Brian. Listen, you don't see me, yeah? All right, Brian. Yeah, Brian. Yeah, I know, Arthur. It was a great final, wasn't it? No, I know, not for you. I'll pick that bit of reddies up in a couple of days. Tell her. I can't see a thing here. Yeah. I like this one. An Asian lap dancing club on Jamaica Road. Right? What are you talking about? <laughs> That's your own writing, <laughs> P.O. mug. Asian lap dancing club. And that knock-knocks old woman just walked in. Yeah. 
bring forth men children only, I tell. I'll get that, Julie. Yeah, how about this for the manifesto? Free parking for two generation Burmese people. Blinder, Mick. Blinder? Where'd you pull them out of? The ether. <laughs> I've got to take a piss. And you're telling me why? You want me to hold it or what? There's something seriously wrong with him. Yeah. We need a tagline for the meeting tomorrow with the Southern and Burmese he knows. Uh huh. Ideas? Me? Yeah, you. Well, think of one. Think of one. Now? Now. Oh, I'm gonna ruin you. <laughs> oh. 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 Local party for local people. Nice? Blinder. Perfect. Oh. Here's the money for the party. No one must know that it came from me, okay? What's the matter with you, man? Got a fly on your head. Not there anymore, you go, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's a blinder. Yeah? Oh, absolutely. That's a Perfect. winner. That's an absolute winner. Here he comes, How the girl. Hey, go to the car, get my glasses. Three, three. How about that today, that bit of canvassing? What, on the landings? Oh, my lord, Mick, I swear, find the life out of me when he opened the door. How about the geezer inside, he's balancing on the table? Big Brian. <laughs> I can't look at him again. Mickey, man. <laughs> Cheers, this kid. on your front seat. What is it, Mick? It's dough. Dough? Give us that here. I'm the treasurer. Five grand, boys. We've got a party money. Bang on. Come here, you Pat, uh, what's that stand for? People's advocate party. Right. And what are you advocating? We're advocating... People. Are you standing for local election or are you standing for national election? Have you registered PAP in the Electoral Commission? What does your wife think about it? It's just a glorified Tenants and Residents Association. I mean, there's not much. Do more. what? You need to get your finances correct. I've had an epiphany. epiphany. I've had a proper epiphany. Well, don't you believe in it? But what do you believe in? I believe. I won't talk about that. I mean, that's what I'm saying to you at the moment, unless you get the back in me. Right, five grand we've got. Hey, you've got five grand who's back in there. Don't write that down. Which is the council. Isn't it what we're not standing for, though? How many candidates are you putting up? Well, one. That's a lot of work. It is a lot of work. work. Yeah. We feel that the universe is with us here. So it's a Labour council. And all these politicians, yeah, so they all so lie to each other. They're 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 it's such a waste of skin. Yeah. 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 What do you mean prison? I'm at the moment, at best, you are a pressure group. I've had a proper epitome. If we sort ourselves out, but you can't just say I don't support I, mean, I, think said, I think he said everything. We'll come back. Like we'll cover any other political party. Don't just say to me free park and all the rest of it. I think that went well, didn't it, Mick? Went well, too. Geezer spun our nut. I'll tell you what, mate. We need someone back round us who knows about these political questions. Come on. Here, Mickey. I'm going to have to slip, mate. But I'll see you down the standing later, yeah? Keep the faith.
there too. The syndicate's oh. got the dog running. It's all Caesar. Straight? Get on it, mate. Where's it running? Monmore. I love a bit of that. Get on it. Oh, wind me a minute. Tell our girl. Little Caesar. Trap free little Caesar at Monmore this afternoon. Stop it half, you're a bookmaker, aren't you? I've got the reddies, yeah. I've got five grand. You owe me anyway. Yeah? So I'll give it to Dave, sweet. Yeah. All right, lovely off. Yeah, we're on, Dave. Three to one, yeah? Five grand, yeah? Oh, mate. When I die, son, don't worry about a box. Just chuck me straight in a drink. <laughs> so what, though, Dave? We had a meeting with the Southwark and Bermondsey News the other day. They absolutely tore us to shreds. We didn't have a clue. Don't worry about them people. That's their job. How did you get on in the docks when you was politically active? <laughs> it was a lot different in those days, son, to it is now. There was a lot more solidarity knocking about in those days. Yeah. People wouldn't stand any messing with their rights. Especially in the docks. I mean, if I said damn tools, it was one out, all out. Like a tyrant. You had to be. I think that's what's missing these days, Dad, you know? People just don't care anymore. Yeah. I mean, what really makes me angry is all these Camerons and these Millibands and these Cleggs. They say and do whatever they want to do, but they, they never have no consequences. You've got it up there. You create the consequences. Look, I've got to go. I've got to meet Terry. I'm worried about that boy. <laughs> Don't worry about Terry. I've been wrapped around Terry for 40 years. I know exactly what Terry's like. Thanks, sweet. I love you, Dad. Yeah, and you, son. Michael. I'm proud of you, son. And your mum would be too. It's all changed. Anna? Got your message. Pleasure is all mine. May I say, you know you're becoming a legend in Burma. I just need two minutes of your time to have a little pipe at this. Just, just do one thing, Anna. Just one thing, Anna. Just one thing. Call Daddy. Yes. Yes. Daddy. 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 Yes. Now, the way I see it is this, Mr. Cannon. In life, you have choices. And you, well, you have two. Now, choice number one is my friends and I are starting up a local political party called PAP, PAP. And we're looking for someone to front that. Someone with a bit of clout and a bit of Plymouth about them. And you, my friend, are the poison of choice to be the local voice for our political party. <laughs> Were you mad? Yeah, I think Mickey would say I was mad. Now, choice number two, well, that's simple, really. This will go in the top ten at the WWW. Now, 
I'll tell you what I do. You've got till Wednesday to get in touch with me. Otherwise, the button will be pressed. ta -la. Mate. Oh, you can't stop, mate. You'll believe it. There you are, Chill. You're looking everywhere for you. You barred from the shop. Straight. Straight. That five grand bet you had on at Monmore, that was the last straw. You were a bookmaker, weren't you? Oh, well done. But what are you talking about, five grand? 25 grand is what I'm talking about. 1,500 quid on Murray 72 and five grand on Little Caesar 3 to 1. That comes to 25 grand. There's your five grand stake money. Come by the office on Monday, and I'll write you a check. Oh, what are you talking oh, about? Five minutes. You never. Let me explain. It's big bright, it's big bright. Benny the shirt. Oh, what does he? Alright, Ben. Hello, Benny. Hello, boys. Alright, boy. Nice day for a murder. Oi, oi. That's a lovely lump of baby you got there. Yeah, it's mine, boy. It's the party money. Hello, Arthur. Haven't seen you for a while. Thought you forgot about it. No, no, I haven't forgot about you or nothing. Che non mi siete tenendo, eh? Why you not to say something, eh? Three five coming to your shop, three four! E te muro muro vado. Hey, listen, boys. Huh? I'm thinking about what you said on the landing the other day. About that political thing. When you come to my office tomorrow, see what we can sort out. Oh! When you see me cadet? Eh? When you see me cadet? I'll see you boys tomorrow, yeah? Alright, boy. Ti raccomando, eh? Ciao. Oh! Ciao. You put our party money on a dog. Nick, I can explain it one, didn't it? It won. I mean, I can tell In you... all the years no. I've known you, I've never tell... There's no excuse for this one, mate. Nick, don't just walk off. Tell I can tell you. No it's officially my money. I yes, won five yes, grand. Yes. Seven to two, Murray, gives me five grand. So really, I was up five grand. Spell parking. P A R K I N J. Oh, come on, boys. We're about to show our manifesto to the world, and all we've got up here is parking. We've got to have something else. We'll make ourselves look like fools. Don't forget, we've got to see Big Brian today, Mick. Big Brian? Don't worry about Big Brian. Worst way, I'll get him to give him a nosh. <laughs> Don't give no one a nosh, man. Listen, Mick, if you do see him, you're going to have to tell him straight, because I can't come. Straight? Straight. You won't know straight if it hits you in the face, Tell. What's the matter with you, Dad? What's the matter with you? Old people, Mick, um, more funding for care homes and top of the housing list for Bermondsey kids. Mickey. What? I've had an emotional shift. Oh, have you? I'm gonna have to go. Nice little tabby you got here. I'm gonna slip me. Well, slip then. That'd be alright. Yeah, I know it will, Tom. Hello. Unbelievable. What'd you say? Hey, you wait here. I've got to sort this out. I'm sure. Keep away. Alright, Brian. Yeah? No, I'm Babe, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know, know man, dude. I swear I to shed. God, I don't know why she's texting I'm me. not listening. No, I love you, babe. I've got to go. Chip I'm not go interested. Go. We'll, out, chap. we'll cut his tabs off. He won't be late playing again, will he? Hello, Brian. Benny. Mickey. See yourself down. I think the PAP and us could do a bit of business together. No, we're all right, Brian. We're covered. But you're going to run a bit of dog shit, you this political too. No, we're covered. Thank you anyway. Ma che dici, you guys? What's Terry say about all this? Terry thinks the same as me. We're covered. I've got to go now. Excuse me. Brian, 
Tell him to move, cos I ain't balancing on a table. Oh, God. Like, cazzo di padrone sei tu, eh? Shut up, Benny. Yeah, babe, sorry about that. The thing that's worth having, yes I would, buy it to your lighter, if it could. Yeah, I, I want you, autonomy, power to the people man, yes I, I want you autonomy. Grant, pull over here. I need to get me here together. So, uh, where's Terry, Mick? Well, that's the eternal question, Grant. I thought you and Terry was in all this together. Yeah, so did I, Grant. Don't worry, Mickey, man. The universe is with us. I know that, P.L. Look, no more should we as local people stand for the corruption of the local councils. We all know money is allocated every year to social needs, to local people's needs, schools, waste bins, social housing, last but not least, parking. Don't worry about the Asian lap dancing club. We... <laughs> What makes you think that you can run a political party? What makes you think you're bigger and better than all of us? Shut it, mate. Hey, Mark. Shut it and let him talk. Shut it. It's rubbish, mate. It's rubbish. They're all the same. I'm not trying to be anything other than what we're doing. You've got to listen to me, please. Please. Oh, 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 oh. Alright, alright, come on, quiet, everyone, come on, listen. I know we're all here for the same reason, okay? We're all here because of the same thing. We all want the same thing. So listen, I brought someone along tonight. Summit councillor, Mark Cannon. Yeah. Come on. Come on, Mark. Come on, Mark. Thank you, Terry. Now, first of all, I'd just like to say that I'm honoured to be part of this social movement. Or PAP. PAP as we're known. It's about time the working class people found their voice. Now, revenue fund consisting of £210,000 across the borough. An allocation Thank of £10,000 per wall. Brother. Was introduced as part of the... <laughs> <laughs>